Hello friends, today I have for you an interesting subject. We are going to talk about the 100 series from Pelican. The series was made between 1929 and 1944. The first model came out in 1929 and had some interesting characteristics. It had a cylindrical cap top, and no cap rings. It had two opposing air vents, a beautiful heart hole nib, and it had the bakelite barrel. In November 1930, the heart hole of the nib is replaced by a round breather hole and the cap gets two rings and four air vents, two and two opposing, to equalize the pressure. In June 1931 the cap top becomes conical and the grip section and barrel are now manufactured from two components. The grip section is made of hard rubber and the barrel now is made from celluloid. In June 1941, for the German market, the nib size is now indicated near the turning knob. Between 1937 and 1944, we have the change of the logo. The new logo is modern and tidy and the uh, four chicks have been reduced to two chicks. Between 1938 and 1940 we have the palladium nib. Because of legal prohibitions no gold nibs are made, instead palladium -y was used. These nibs were imprinted PD. In uh, 1938 the model 100N is produced but only for export and the model 100 is manufactured for the German market. In the years of the war between 1939 and 1944 we can see the steel nib and the CN nibs. C comes from chrome and N from nickel. Between 1929 and 1944 it had a 14 carat gold nib, the palladium nib, the chrome nickel nib and the 18 carat nib made for export. So uh, now we are going to talk about uh, the different colors variation of the 100 model. So the first model, the UR uh, Pelican was available first in the jade green color. It was manufactured uh, from beginning of 1929. It had a 14 gold clip and a logo with four cheeks. The cap color is black and the trims were gold plated. In 1930 appears the UR Pelican Black which had also a 14 carat nib, the logo with four cheeks, the uh, cap color was black and the trim was gold plated. Next we have the Yon 100 Jade model which was produced from 1930 to 1931. It had a 14 carat gold nib, a four logo or four cheek logo, the barrel color was jade green and the cap color was black. It has also gold plated trims. Between 1931 and 1944 we have the classic 100 black which uh, possessed a 14 carat nib, a palladium nib or, and a chrome nickel nib. The logo was the first models was the four cheeks logo but it, uh, we can also find it with the Two Cheeks logo. So the barrel color is black, the cap color is black and it had gold plated trims. The next model is the 100 
olive green model, which was produced from 1930 till 1931. This model had a 14 carat nib. It had a four cheeks logo. The cap color was black. The barrel color was olive green and it had gold plated trims. The next model is the red marbled model which was produced from 1931 till 1938. It was an export model fitted with a 14 carat nib. The next uh, pretty rare model is the 100 model of pearl model which was produced in 1935. It had a 14 carat gold nib. It was meant for the export market and had the logo with the four cheeks. Another export model is the blue marbled one made between 1931 and 1938. This model was intended for the Portuguese model and had a four or a two cheeks logo. The 100 honey yellow it was made from 1931 till 1934 and it had a 14 carat gold nib and four cheeks uh, logo. The next model was the 100 brown marbled, which was produced from 1935 till 1937. It had a 14 carat gold nib and a four cheek logo. The next model was a great marble one produced from 1931 to 1939. It was an export model and the nib was 14 carat nib. They were also producing a palladium nib and a chrome nickel nib. The early models had four cheeks and uh, the newer models had the two, two cheeks uh, pelican log on them. The green marbled one from 1931 till 1934 had a 14 carat a palladium or a chrome nickel nib. Also the logo had four or two cheeks. The color of the cap was black. The barrel color was green marbled and it had gold plated trims. There are some variations of the 100 model. So it was um, um, a cut away model which had a 14 carat gold nib and uh, logo, the, lo um, the old logo with four cheeks. Uh, this uh, practical is a type of demonstrator and it demonstrates the functioning and the inner life by um, cuttings. There is also a variation of the 100 the ring without clip which was made in uh, 1933. It had a 14 karat gold uh, nib and the log of over uh, four cheeks. Practically from 1930, Pelican sent for each 10 pence two rings to the um, retailers. The retailers could uh, swap the clip for the ring if the client wanted a clipless pen. This was made without clip to go smooth into a woman's purse. The 100 war version from 1942 to 1944 had the logo of two cheeks. The nib was chrome nickel and uh, the war versions was without the cap bands. The Pelican 101. The original Pelican fountain pen got its name Pelican in 1931. The models with black cap at this time were named Pelican 100. Fountain pens with white gold field, they were called Pelican 110. And fountain pens with yellow gold field overlay were called 111. And the 14 yellow gold barrel uh, clip band, they were called 112. They were made from 1935 to 1944. The nib was a 14 karat gold nib, 18 karat for the export uh, models. And they also had a chrome nickel nib. The first model 
is the 101 jade, made from 1935 till 1938. It had a 14 karat gold nib and we can find them both with a four cheek logo and a two cheek logo. The cap is green, the barrel color is green and they have gold plated trims. The 101 coral red was made from 1935 to 1937. It had a 14 karat gold nib or a chrome nickel uh, nib. We can find it with the logo of four cheeks and the logo of two cheeks. The 101 Lepic Blue was produced from 1935 to 1937. It had a 14 karat gold nib. We can also um, find this model with a four cheek logo and a two cheek logo. The 101 Lizard or Lizard Pattern was produced from 1935 to 1937. It had a 14 karat gold nib and the logo of the four chicks. The 101 turquoise um, color, it was produced from 1935 till 1938. It had a 14 karat gold nib and the logo with the four chicks. The color of the torch was brown. And we have another variation of the 101 model, the turtle's brown model from 1935. It had a 14 karat gold nib and the logo of four cheeks. The cap color was brown. The barrel color was turquoise brown and the trims were gold plated. The Pelican 110 has a white gold filled cap and barrel overlay with a beautiful gilder shape. It was made from 1931 till 1938. It had a 14 karat gold nib or an 18 karat gold nib for the export models. The model Pelican 110 was made in three different ribbon gilder shape patterns. The diamond gilder shape, the grain gilder shape and the wave gilder shape. The Pelican 111 has a black cap, but the barrel is made from 14 karat yellow gold. The cap bands are also made for, from 14 karat gold. It was made from uh, 1930 till 1938. It had a 14 karat gold nib and a logo with four cheeks. Pelican 111T, T stands for Toledo. It is a beautiful pelican, Toledo, with um, pelican motifs on a gold-plated steel sleeve. The clip is decorated with a pelican motif and the cap rings are mild. This model was produced from 1931 till 1937. It had a 14 karat gold nib. And uh, we can find it with uh, both with the 14 cheek logo and with the two cheek logo. The cap color is black, the barrel color is gold, and the trim is gold plated. The Pelican 112. The cap and sleeve of the model Pelican 112 are made from 14 karat yellow gold. It was made from 1931 till 1938. Like the 110 model, the Pelican 112 had three different patterns. The 112 gold diamond, the 112 gold grain and the 112 gold wave. There are also known models of Pelican 100 with a metal overlay. The company Georg Lauer made these beautiful models. They were made in silver and gold plating. This is the evolution of the Pelican 100 uh, model and uh, the, its uh, variants. I believe that uh, this early success of um, the Pelican, this is an important part of uh, Pelican history. So celebrating this wonderful model Pelican has uh, launched a new variant of uh, 
this uh, model, which they entitled uh, Pelican 1929. Fyodor Kovacs was a Hungarian engineer who developed and patented in 1923 a feeding system with a special piston designed to overcome the disadvantages of the manual systems of that time, namely eyedropper and perishable rubber sack pens. He sold uh, this pattern to Pelican and Pelican used it on their UR Pelican, which was launched in 1929. The innovative technology with two differing thread leads inside the fountain pen ensures that the shaft turns faster than the grip of the pen. A suction pump with a differential spindle gear ensures clean, rapid and reliable filling. The piston of the pump automatically cleans the ink container and keeps it transparent and the ink feed for the nib ensures instant writing. Of the 100 model, um, it is a beautiful model. When you say Pelican, you think about the piston filler mechanisms and you think about this iconic fountain pen. So it's really a good fountain pen. It uh, marked the beginning of the history of a well-known fountain pen a German manufacturer. It uh, opened the gate to other German producers to promote in their models or to use in their models the piston filler mechanism. When you say German fountain pen, you, uh, you think about the piston filling mechanism. So thanks for uh, viewing my uh, short, uh, my long review of this wonderful, wonderful pen. And uh, if you want, you can check out the review of the Pelican 100 and model in the link, uh, which I will leave in the description of the video. As always, thank you and have a nice day.